While some are drawn to a Taz local speak referring to high class dining places, serious foodies will know first grade seafood palace is the place to go for black pepper crabs. Located in a corner of a coffee shop, the store is managed by Ahuat and his younger brother, taking over the reins from their father, who started out selling crabs at Roker Road in Singapore. Although crabs are eaten by Singaporeans every day, the dish sees a huge jump in popularity during special occasions or festive seasons like Chinese New Year. Ahuat, who has been in the business for 40 years, says he has seen the price of crabs increase fourfold and tries his best to absorb the difference in prices whenever possible. Crabs begin to decompose the moment they die and the store ensures that all dead crabs are discarded and does not resell them to customers for a cheaper price. Unwanted parts such as the crab's gills and abdomen, which contains the excretory and reproductive organs, are removed before washing. Although using Sri Lankan mud crab seems to be the norm, Ahwat adds that he is not adverse to using crabs from India, Vietnam, or Indonesia. He places emphasis on the quality and the quantity of the meat and not where the crabs are from. Using wooden pegs, each order of crabs is marked with a table number before they are passed to the chef. The ingredients that go into making the delectable black pepper sauce is carefully guarded and both brothers keep mum on the subject, only venturing as far to say that their sauce is different from the rest. Cooked on high heat, the crabs are placed into the wok and the secret black pepper sauce is added. Killing the crabs and chopping them into parts before cooking is recommended because it is more humane and also allows the meat to be evenly cooked. As the brothers promised, the black pepper sauce is the dish's winning factor. The peppercorns are fragrant and have a penetrating aroma. The heat grows on you, but the sauce is tempered with a mild sweetness and does not overpower the delicate sweetness of the crab meat. While you are here, you can also order a serving of chili crabs. Asked about the prevailing myth that crabs from Sri Lanka feed on human cadavers, Ahwat believes it is an urban legend and shares that even though crabs are scavengers, corpses eventually float to the surface of the water. Even though the dish is not the store's signature dish, that is not to say that it tastes shoddy. The sauce is mildly sweet and leaves a lingering spiciness in your mouth. The store does not provide buns for you to mop up the sauce, but you can order a plate of seafood fried rice to go with the dish. Cooked with eggs, prawns, scallions, and spring onions, the bland fragrance of the rice goes well with the strong flavor of the black pepper crabs. Another popular side order is the seafood mi goreng. The yellow noodles are stir-fried with some vegetables and seafood and is best eaten by itself because of the intensity of its flavor. The crowd is heaviest during lunch and dinner hours, so make sure you give the store a call before making your way down in case the crabs are sold out. The last few years have seen a steady increase of local entrepreneurs turning out homegrown brands and Tom's Palette is one of them. Co-founder Kronos says that he originally wanted to start the ice cream store with his good friend Tom, but he was skeptical about the practicality and sustainability of managing an ice cream store in Singapore. Though they are still good friends, Kronos reveals that the name of the store is more than just to prove Tom wrong but serves as a reminder of the challenges he faced in starting the business. Founded in 2005, Kronos runs the store with his wife, Eunice, and the ice cream parlor churns out a new flavor every month. The time to create a new ice cream flavor varies from a couple of weeks to a few months and depends on both the complexity of the recipe and the feedback from the customers. In the beginning, when business was poor, Eunice decided to create an ice cream flavor that will rival the popularity of the cookies sold by the tenant next door to their store. The result was Granny's favorite. The chocolate flavored ice cream is smooth and the addition of malt and cookie dough gives it a slightly chewy and crunchy texture. Another perennial favorite is salted caramel cheesecake, one of the first savory ice cream flavors created by Tom's Palette. French custard is used as the base of the ice cream and consists of beating butter, sugar, and liquid egg together until they take on the consistency of custard. 
To make the salted caramel sauce, a slab of butter is melted in the pot along with some sugar. Cold cream is later added and the mixture is stirred until it is smooth before salt and vanilla flavoring are poured in. The taste of the cheese flavor blends nicely with the subtle sweetness of the caramel sauce and does not overpower the taste buds. One of the best sellers is the salted egg yolk ice cream, which was inspired by the salted egg custard bun the husband and wife team ate when they were in Hong Kong. Our salted egg yolk ice cream was actually inspired by Liu Sa Pao. Yeah, so it was um, around October 2010 that Liu Sa Pao was getting popular. So we started to just create this flavor. It actually started out as a mystery flavor. Yeah, but because a lot of people were they liked it and they kept asking for it. So we said make it like a daily flavor. Made from milk, cream, sugar, and salted eggs, the savory ice cream has the grainy texture of salted eggs and has a well-balanced mix of briny flavor and mild milky sweetness. For something dark and intense, you can try the chocolate sorbet. For our chocolate sorbet ice cream, we actually put in a lot of chocolate coverture to intensify the chocolate taste. And then furthermore, because there's no milk, no cream, and no eggs, the taste of chocolate will be brought up further. Yeah, so it's like very rich and like tastes like dark chocolate. If you are lactose intolerant, but can take dark chocolate, you can try the sorbet as an alternative to the other flavors, as it does not contain milk, cream, or eggs. Smooth and creamy, the ice cream does not have the characteristic crystalline texture sorbets typically have. Other unique flavors include mango sticky rice, made from milk, cream, sugar, coconut, glutinous rice, and bits of mango. The delish ice cream flavor is enhanced by the delicate aroma of the coconut and retains the essence of the traditional Thai dessert. 